Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another Christmas DIY video. This time we are making seven DIYs that can be made with $1 items. For this first DIY, you just need five of Dollar Tree's ornaments. It doesn't matter the style or the shape. Really, this will work with anything. And then remove the little metal part, remove the fabric, just remove everything. Now, some of these ornaments, the burlap fabric pulled off super easy. It pretty much fell off or jumped off at me. <laughs> and then some of it I had to use Goo Gone. So, you know, Dollar Tree and consistency don't always go hand in hand. Then a pack of Dollar Tree's napkins. You get 20 napkins for a dollar. We only need two. Take your napkin and cut it down into five pieces. Then some Dollar Tree spray adhesive, which I like a lot more than I ever realized. Like seriously, I love this more than Mod Podge. Spray all over your ornament and then carefully place your napkin on your ornament. Now the cool thing is the spray adhesive is a lot thinner than Mod Podge. So you can easily pull and tug gently the tissue paper to smooth it out. It won't be perfectly smooth, but it does look really cool in the end, I promise. Once the napkin starts to tear apart, just go ahead and pull it off. If you still have some tissue paper hanging down, that's cool too. Just wait, we'll get that when it dries. And if you see at the very bottom, my paper did rip slightly, that's okay. It all looks good in the end. I set mine outside to dry. I'm in Texas. It was a sunny 90 degree day and it took less than half an hour. I also did both sides because I'm giving it away. I want to give it a finished look. If you have some scraggly pieces of tissue paper hanging over, that can be fixed with some sandpaper. Then I'm using one of Dollar Tree's paint markers and some stencils from Walmart. They're Waverly, about $2. But just so you know, you can use Dollar Tree's sticker letters. They're black. You can spray paint them white and use them just the same. Optional, I sealed mine with clear spray paint. So the chick I'm giving it to can use these outdoors or indoors and it just makes it last longer, but that's not necessary at all. Then just string it up with some twine and it's done. This is a really cool, cute banner that can be used indoors or outdoors on your Christmas mantle. You can put it in a window and it'd be cool if you did Mary on both sides. So sitting inside, you can read Mary and sitting outside, you can read Mary. The possibilities are endless. I just think it's a really cool DIY. And even if this wasn't your style, I hope you at least gathered some ideas or inspiration. For this next one, all you need is one of Dollar General's $1 sticker letters or wall stickers, forgive me, wall stickers. And then I'm using one of Walmart's 75 cent summer clearance trays. But just remember my friend, Dollar Tree always sells trays for a dollar and they have a million and five to choose from. I prefer using Rust-Oleum's spray paint over Walmart's 96 cent spray paint because of the coverage and really in the long run, spending the extra $3 you get more for your money. But you, you can totally use Walmart's 96 cent spray paint and give this tray seven coats of spray paint or Rust-Oleum's and just like one thick coat. <laughs> then just add your sticker letters. And depending on what you're putting this on, you may need to cut the stickers down and that's fine. Just try your best to make the tray look balanced. Then a boatload of Mod Podge. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna seal your stickers, but also because the stickers are a high gloss and the tray's matte, it's gonna make it look cohesive. And that's it. This tray turned out a lot better, like a lot, lot better than I ever thought it would. It's really cool to use in your kitchen or it's a working functional tray. And really, I, I love everything about it. Just like I said, mind blown how great this turned out. This next one's really cool because I mean, the possibilities are endless. There's so many ways to do this. You just need some of Dollar Tree's wood stems. By the way, I counted. So each bag comes with about 19 to 21 wood stems. And then you're going to need a drill. I wanna let you know if you don't have a drill, don't be scared. I just use this drill for crafting. It's about $20, the same size and almost price as my glue gun. And just drill a hole through your stems and it doesn't have to be perfect. You saw that last hole I just made, that was cattywampus, it works just fine. Then Dollar Tree sells wooden hair beads, you get 20 or they also sell 125 colorful beads. If you use the colorful beads, you'll need to string them up and then spray paint them with a high quality spray paint like Rust-Oleum, maybe Krylon, but 
I'm a bead enthusiast. So I buy beads in bulk. I bought a thousand from Amazon and then optional, I stain my beads with coffee for 15 minutes, let them soak and then let them dry out. But that's totally optional. Then just use some twine with a larger needle, like an upholstery needle or a hair sewing needle. This is the same needle, by the way, that I use to make my Dollar Tree pillows. And if you haven't seen that video, it'll be linked in the description. All you have to do is do one branch, one bead, one branch, one bead. And this is how much one bag of branches and one bag of hair beads, so 20 beads, will get you. Then optional, add a cross or add a little medallion, a little letter, whatever you wanna do. You can add that to one end and then make a tassel on the other end or just make a tassel on both ends. And I just use Dollar Tree twine, by the way. I also use three bags and then three beads in between each branch to make a longer piece of garland. And I wanna make another, if I can find more of these branches to like decorate one of my trays. This is cool to decorate a table, to use the beads over some books. And then I put these branches on a, pulled out a little bitty tree I have just to get the idea of what this will look like on a larger tree. And I think it looks really cool. I may have to go back and just add extra beads though. Next, we're making a red truck wreath. Anything with a red truck sells like hotcakes. <laughs> and yes, I'm selling mine. I'm using one of Dollar Tree's fall trucks, but they do sell one for Christmas. So either one works just fine. And they're both available for only a dollar at Dollar Tree. No matter which one you're using, just remove the pumpkins or the tree. And this is easily cut with scissors too. You can use some of Dollar Tree's red paint. That's fine. They carry all different types of colors, but I prefer to spray paint. That's just a personal preference. I find it to be easier, faster, not as messy. Once again, personal preference. And I'm using Cherry by Rust-Oleum to spray paint or paint all over your truck red. Then once that's dry, go back and paint the tires black, just regular black acrylic paint, paint your little truck bed brown if you have this style of truck. And then optional, you can use some metallic paint to go around the wheels. If you didn't fast forward through the video, <laughs> you saw where I taped off the little middle part of the wheel. And that's because we're painting that area white. And you know, the metallic color, the brown color, all of those easily covers white, but I didn't want my white to turn out looking pinkish, if you know what I mean. Then Dollar Tree sells willow wreaths and you can definitely use one of those. I'm recycling one I already have because it's a little bit smaller than Dollar Tree's and I wanna save the larger one for a different DIY two of Dollar Tree's Christmas picks, and I'm using the type that have two pine cones each. I only want three pine cones, so I just remove one pine cone from one pick. Crisscross your picks, and then snatch up one of Dollar Tree's frosted ferns. And we're not even using the whole pick. We just need two little stems, and we're saving the rest of this for a later DIY. Once you have your florals adjusted, where they look okay to you, hot glue everything down, including your red truck. Lastly, all you need is one of Dollar Tree's, I think these are for Christmas villages, I'm not really sure, but you get two trees and I'm using a larger one, pull off the base, it easily pulls apart and then just hot glue that down. And that's it, it's totally done. Now, like I said, I'm making this wreath to sell and I did go back, you see the little hole at the top where the little tie was? I did fill that with some putty and paint over it using Dollar Tree's paint, by the way. So the red pretty much matches up, but it looks fine without the whole field too. Field filled too. I just did that because I'm selling mine and it makes it look a little bit more professional, not handmade. People always ask, where do you sell your stuff? 99% of the time I sell it on Facebook Market and I really just price it to reimburse myself for my crafting habit. For this next DIY, you're going to need five $1 letters from Dollar General. These are ornaments, super cute. I, they're pretty large too. And then if this isn't necessary, but this is another DIY, I'm not sure if I'm keeping or if I'm going to sell it, the jury's still out. But I did fill the little hole with some caulk and you can barely tell where it was. Then you just need one of Dollar Tree's larger MDF signs or same price pretty much. You can get one inch by two inch by eight foot long wood piece from Home Depot, $1.18. They'll cut it down for you four times. Four of those pieces is the exact same size 
as Dollar Tree's Beware sign or the Harvest sign, any of their larger MDF boards. If you're going the wood route, just wood glue your pieces together. That's all you need to do. That's it. No nailing or stapling or anything necessary. If you're using Dollar Tree's MDF board or the real wood pieces, just paint all over your sign white or whatever color your heart desires. Then just hot glue your letters down. It's that easy. I just eyeballed the letters. I didn't do any special measuring. You can hot glue some twine to hang your sign or Dollar Tree also sells picture hanging tool kit. And it comes with these little loops that just screw into wood. I'm using that, but you can totally use hot glue either way. One of Dollar Tree's Christmas picks, pull that bad boy all the way apart. Just pull everything off just to hot glue it back together. And that's because we're swagging it across from each other. So, I mean, I guess you could leave it together and use two, but I just wanted to use one. Then remember the frosted fern we had from the beginning of the video or the last DIY. We're using two more pieces of that frosted fern. And by the way, we still have a lot of frosted fern left. And here you go. Super cute, super simple, and super easy to sell. Although, <laughs> I really like this. I might keep it for myself. This looks great outdoors, or you can use it indoors. You can use it wherever your heart desires. And now we're going to make a door hanger. Probably the easiest DIY ever. Just one of Dollar Tree's door hangers and one pack of Dollar Tree's 10 piece ornaments. So you'll still have like nine ornaments left, my friend. A little bit of super glue, which is sold at Dollar Tree. I prefer the gel type. The trick to using this is glue it down, don't touch it. Then you can spray paint it or paint it the color of your choice. I know this seems so silly and so simple, but I've seen wreath hangers like this sold online and in stores for up to 10 to $15, which is crazy when you can recreate the same thing all on your own. And you've made it to the last DIY where all you need is one of Dollar General's wall stickers. This time we're using the Christmas tree truck style also still just a dollar. And then you can use any one of Dollar Tree's MDF board signs. But for a higher end look, if you can find some free scrap wood, I highly urge you to do that instead just because it looks better. I mean, it looks so much nicer and it cost nothing. Paint that white. I love chalk paint, Rust-Oleum's chalk paint because of the price, the fast dry time. And then on the sides, I just mix the white paint with some black paint to make a gray totally personal preference. Then just stick your stickers down. Pretty much everything is the same, except because the wood surface was not even. I used a boatload, a boatload times two of Mod Podge, and it took a little bit longer to dry. But besides that, everything's the same. And this sign is super cute. It can be used in so many ways. And because I use the real wood, it can stand up on its own. If you use the Dollar Tree's MDF board, you can hot glue a little Jenga piece to the back or some type of wood piece to the back to make it stand up. Or you could hang this on the wall. You can use it as an outdoor decor. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Hey, thank you so much for watching my friend. Still a little early, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Merry Christmas, much love to you.